Hi there everybody, Lainey here and I just landed in San Diego. Um, I tried to actually record on the airplane but the engine noise was just a little too loud. So our verse for this week is going to come out of the book of Psalms and it's Psalm 67 1 which says, God be merciful to us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us. Selah. And when I first read this verse I was reminded of a song that I've been listening to by uh, Laura Story called Blessings. And her lyrics um, just talk about how we, as believers, ask God to, to bless us and protect us and um, you know to comfort us. And those are all wonderful things to pray for. But in her song, she reminds us that sometimes we get to know God more intimately um, during the trials and during the afflictions and in the hard times. And so I love that the Word of God doesn't leave us alone to um, interpret what He has for us. And that if you just keep reading in Psalm 67, you can see a little bit more of God's heart. And it says, God be merciful to us and bless us and cause His face to shine upon us. And then verse 2 says that your, your way may be known on the earth your salvation among the nations and then we really see um, what God's heart is for his people and that he, he wants to bless us but not so that we could be comfortable he wants to bless us and have us to know him and to be able to declare his goodness so that those that don't know him can know him and that those that are in desperate need of mercy like we were in need of mercy before we came to him can experience his goodness and his faithfulness and then all the nations of the earth can uh, come to him and know him because his heart truly is that none should be lost his heart is to bless us but not so that we can be complacent and not so that we can um, simply be satisfied in our own welfare but he wants to give us his heart and his character and that's always to seek after the lost and to to minister to them and he you know he heals the brokenhearted and he gives wisdom to those that need it and he just provides comfort and care and i just pray that as we just go about our our week this week, but even just with this being November and everyone already thinking about Thanksgiving, that our um, giving of thanks would not just be for the tangible blessings that the Lord provides us with, you know, with food and with clothing, but that we, we would be grateful and thankful for His person and what He did to reconcile us with Himself through His Son, Jesus Christ. And that we would use that opportunity, the blessings that he's given us to minister to those around him that don't know him. And I'm just praying uh, for the Lord to just to do that in our family, especially this Thanksgiving year, that he would just give us opportunity to share his love and grace with those um, that haven't yet experienced it in a personal way. So, Lord, I just thank you so much for your word, and I thank you so much that you desire to... Um, reconcile the nations to yourself lord that you desire that none should be lost so i just pray that you would use us lord that you would bless us that we would know you and that we would share your love and it's in your name i pray amen i hope that you guys have a great week i was able to move everything over to a new podcast host yay liberated syndication and so the itunes feed should actually work now and when you actually hit subscribe it should actually start to do all that stuff automatically so i just pray that you guys have a great week and um i think i'll actually be here for next week's recording and then it'll be back to oregon so until next time bye bye